We've been waiting all year to find out what would actually be in the Republican tax cut bill when it finally comes out. And we now know it's been unveiled. And so we're going to break it down and we're going to find out if it's good or bad for you. Maybe you're a regular person and you're going to get screwed. Maybe your last name is Mercer or Trump and you're going to do quite well. Let's find out together. First, some of the things that are not super surprising that are in here, starting off with massive cuts to corporate taxes. The bill proposes permanently cutting the corporate tax rate from 35% to 20%, which I, hold, we're, gonna, we're gonna continue on that graphic, but just think about that. In one swoop, they cut out a huge percentage of all of the taxes that they face, that's what they get. And like, if they get this, if this goes through, and then someday, miracle of miracles, we get an amazing progressive president. Then he is going, just to get back to parity, he's then gonna have to propose that we're going to be doubling corporate taxes. And imagine the massive fight we're gonna have over that. So that's gonna be fun in a few years. And, and as John explains this whole thing to you, understand that the whole point of this is redistribution of wealth. Mm -hmm. It is to redistribute the wealth from actual citizens, from human beings to the corporations. Yes. They have redistributed the wealth uh, for decades now, and uh, the percentage of taxes paid by corporations who are multinational corporations and not actual citizens uh, has gotten lower and lower and lower. Now yeah. this would make it nearly non-existent. It, and they say they're taking away the loopholes, they're not taking away all the loopholes, no way. It's 20% plus mm -hmm. the loopholes, which then brings you down even lower. The effective tax rate for corporations today is 22%. After this, it'll be much lower than that yeah. and probably lower than the average American pays. Exactly. So, but and they got to get the money from somewhere and as John's going to explain to you, they're going to get it from you. Yeah, exactly. These first things we're going to be laying out are basically a gigantic cannon of money they are firing at the wealthiest people in the country. And then we will get to how they're stuffing that cannon full of your money. But so their overall taxes cut from 35% to 20. They also gain new, more favorable treatment of income earned abroad, which is either not taxed at all or taxed at an even lower rate than the 20%, 12% for certain types of money, 5% for intangibles like buildings and factories. I don't understand money because out of all of those things, stocks, bonds, factories and buildings, the factories and the buildings are the intangibles. Aren't those the most tangible things on the list? <laughs> anyway, they're gonna be paying basically nothing for it. So that's for corporations. Now, for wealthy individuals, the top tax bracket is going to be 39.6%. So they're not massively cutting that like we thought that they would and they might still try to, which was previewed in Trump's tax like framework released earlier this year, that sort of thing. It's staying at roughly that same level, however, the a group of people that's going to be encapsulated under that is being changed. Individual income to $1 million for couples up from $470,000 currently today. And so basically people in that larger range between a half million and a million for a couple are now going to to get a significant cut there. Also the lower tax brackets, the ones that theoretically might apply to you also remember apply to them. And so they're also benefiting from those as well. Um, now, what about when these uh, wealthy people who will accrue even more money thanks to these tax cuts eventually kick the bucket? Well, the state tax is going to be uh, reduced initially. That's by doubling how much wealth can be shielded from it and then eliminated entirely in 2024. And that's a point we're gonna return to. So keep that in mind that it doesn't get fully eliminated until 2024. Now, uh, there's another way that you can benefit if you're a rich individual and you haven't yet died. Uh, there's a, a pass through income, this is something we've talked about multiple times, uh, where a, an individual effectively earns all of their money through a particular type of corporation. So rather than claiming it as their income, it's simply shielded by going through the corporation. Uh, those taxes would be capped at 25% rather than the top individual rate. And you can do the math, 25 is lower than 39, which means that if you can simply claim all of your income through that pass through, you get a more significant tax cut. So that is monumentally important for a number of reasons. So it, it, the top bracket, and so sometimes they say top bracket is 39.6%, and you think, uh, well, all their money is taxed at 39, it's not. Only every dollar above now a million dollars, according to this plan, it used to yeah. be four hundred and seventy thousand dollars. A million dollars is going to be taxed at a thirty-nine point six, but it's not because almost all the rich will immediately form pass-through corporations. Yeah, 
Uh, I could hear the accountants now, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. You'd be an idiot not to form a pass through corporation. So what does that mean? So instead of uh, paying your taxes as John Idarola, if John were to one day become a millionaire, he would set up uh, John Idarola LLC. And he would say, I'm in the very important business of being John Idarola. Now, you put a fig leaf on it, mm -hmm. right? And well, I'm actually a, a not employed, I'm a consultant. Yeah. And hence, it's my own business. Mm -hmm. And so you then all of a sudden, your rate effectively for almost, I shouldn't say everybody, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, but a lot of people in the top bracket will have their rates drop from 39.6. It looks like 39.6, but it's not. Will drop to 25%. Yeah. yeah, and we don't have to speculate about some of the people who will immediately benefit from that. The entire Trump family, all of their wealth is going to go there. Whether they're hiding behind, uh, as you say, an LLC or more generally a CCCP, they're shielded in various ways and their money is effectively going to be taxed at much lower rates. And let me just say two important things about that. That is not something that the Trump family is going to do later. That is what they do today. They have the Trump. But now it'll be lower, the yeah. actual rate. And yeah. so, but I want to be clear about that. Having an LLC, there's nothing wrong with that. The current law is if you have an LLC, you pay the same rate based on your bracket as you do if you're a person. Yeah. So there's. There's other benefits, but there's no tax benefit in that sense. Yeah, there's certain so, in terms of uh, like if you're like, sued, things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, so the Trump Organization, being a pass-through organization as it is today, did not give them a massive tax benefit. It gave them other benefits, but not a tax benefit. Yeah. Now, <laughs> the rate is going to be 25 percent for everything that uh, Trump owns. Yeah. He just cut his own taxes by. Well, it's 15% overall, but that's actually like a 40% cut of his tax, the amount of taxes that he would pay. Yeah. He just gave himself a 40% tax cut. Yeah. For what he claims is billions of dollars. Oh, and we've got another tax cut that he just gave himself. So the alternative minimum tax, which increases taxes for certain affluent or upper middle class households, that's also going to be repealed. That was created because the wealthiest Americans were using so many loopholes and fancy accountants and all that, that they were effectively not paying much in taxes. And so this was created so at least they would pay a certain minimum amount. And we don't have to speculate about whether this might affect Donald Trump. The only tax information we have from him historically comes from 2005. And if there hadn't been the alternative minimum tax in 2005, he would have paid $31 million less in taxes. So this it's amazing that you just, you get elected and then you get to shovel more money into your pockets. You just immediately make the law in a way that benefits you. It's great how that works out. So all of that stuff that we've gone over, and there's far more to it, but those are sort of the broad strokes. Those are extremely expensive to the government to make those changes. You're talking about adding literally trillions of dollars to the federal deficits so that will become debt. This is from the party that supposedly hates both of those things. So how are they gonna pay for it? Well, they need to find the money somehow, especially because in terms of the legislative strategy, the way that it works using reconciliation, they can only get this passed with 51 votes if it doesn't add a certain amount to the deficit. If it does cost more, and it does, then they will need 60 votes and they're not gonna get 60 votes. So they're gonna have to make up the money somehow and it's going to be from you. Here are some of the ways they're gonna try to do that. Uh, they're gonna be changing the way that you can uh, benefit off of your mortgage. Uh, for all future mortgages, the mortgage interest deduction benefit would be capped at a home value of $500,000, having it from the current level. Now, from my point of view, that still sounds like, damn, you got a pretty expensive house. But I also know that a $500,000 house, that might be a mansion in some parts of the country. In LA, that is, that's the bare minimum for pretty much anything. That is gonna cost you a significant amount of money. But much, uh, much more likely to affect you is the fact that the deductions for state and local income sales taxes would also be eliminated. Uh, the de deduction for state and local property taxes would also be capped. And then there's a variety of other smaller deductions like the medical expense deduction and the property casualty loss deductions. So that's for things like if you have some sort of significant out of control medical expenses, you could deduct a little bit of that from your taxes. Up until now, we'll see if that continues. And those sorts of changes are going to affect people all over the country, particularly in blue states. And that is how they're going to try to make back some of those trillions of dollars that their tax cuts for the wealthiest individuals and corporations will cost. So that doesn't affect the poor very much. But if you're in the middle class, they just took away a lot of the potentially thousands of dollars. Yeah, a lot of deductions that you use. And that is why the Republicans have admitted yes. Um, a lot of people in the middle class might get a tax increase. Mm -hmm. It is so brazen.
They're gonna take from the middle class and they're gonna give it to the rich and to the corporations. Why? Because that's their donors. And the middle class didn't donate to them, so they're gonna get robbed. Mm -hmm. That is why this, among the reasons why this plan is now polling at 25%. For a while, Trump miraculously had, had gotten a little bump in the polls, from what I don't know. But now he's dipping again ever since the tax cut proposal was outlined. And mm -hmm. it's really interesting, and I don't think the rest of the press is accurately understanding why his numbers dip. The last time his numbers dipped was because of the healthcare proposal. It was ex at exactly yeah. that time, because Pete, that was at 17% approval rating. They're like, yeah, I like that he doesn't like these guys. I don't like Latinos and Muslims either, but wait, my mm -hmm. healthcare costs are gonna go up and I, and I might not be covered anymore? I don't like that, right? They actually care about policy. Now, do they, does every American understand policy perfectly? Of course not, right? But do they have a general sense that they're getting screwed? Yes, yeah. okay? And they've seen the tax cut, they don't like it. They're like, wait, yeah. I thought it was tax cuts for us. Why is my taxes going up? And the rich, their taxes are going way down. You're right, you are getting screwed. Yeah, yeah. I watched, I read the transcripts of a couple of interviews that were done with Republican congressmen where they talked about uh, this cutting the corporate tax rate so significantly. They said that uh, not only do independents and Democrats obviously not want you to cut the corporate tax rate, in fact, they want you to raise it. But 53% of Republicans want it to either stay where it is or go up. And unilaterally, the unilaterally, universally, the Republican uh, congressman said, I don't believe that. That's not my constituents. And they'd question how polls were done because they say, when I go around, everybody wants the corporate tax rate to be cut. <laughs> well, yeah, because the people who are polled probably couldn't pay $25,000 to take a picture with you at some fancy dinner. Um, but that's what they're doing. And uh, there's a couple other aspects to this that, that I think are worth noting. Um, they want to eliminate the, uh, the tax incentives to purchase electric vehicles. So that's great, <laughs> we should course. subsidize the oil companies, but not the thing that actually allows that industry to get off its feet. I owned an electric car, the only reason I owned it was because of those tax credits. Uh, one thing, and you, you often will give yourself credit for uh, predictions that are correct. I'm gonna do that too, even though I didn't get Jared to get the video. Uh, back during the debates, Donald Trump, when talking about taxes, would get this applause line that he's going to eliminate uh, the carried interest because these hedge fund managers are just putting one over on you. Uh, he'd get rid of that loophole. They're not getting rid of that loophole, they're not changing it at all, they're still gonna have that. I don't understand why he got any credit. I said at the time that he's obviously not going to do that. And then there's little things like the fact that there, uh, there's a couple of aspects of this tax plan for families that's supposed to provide a little bit of relief to them. Those are temporary in the bill, but all the business shit is permanent. Isn't it weird how that worked out? The only sorts of families who are getting permanent tax relief uh, from this plan, that's the Trump family and families like them. And then there's things like the little extras that they throw on as if just to spite you, to spit in your eye. They're adding a brand new 1.4% tax on university endowment income because screw universities. So those universities that fundraise and get money to try to make the school better, all that, they're gonna tax that. Also, they're gonna eliminate the tax break you get for interest you pay on your student loans, which for a lot of Americans could cost you between $500 and $1,000 a year in lost tax breaks. So they can they can just shower the richest Americans with money, but you have to pay a couple hundred extra dollars per year because you're just desperately trying to keep up with your student loan payments. So you lose your uh, any kind of deductions for student loans, uh, for electric cars, uh, all the ones that affect the middle class. But somehow they just couldn't close the deductions for the hedge fund uh, guys. And the one thing that he actually promised in the campaign. Because in reality, they know that the country is progressive. So uh, certainly on economic issues, mm -hmm. they want a higher minimum wage so they can actually earn a decent living. You know the minimum wage right now, $7.25, gets you $15,000 a year. People are getting crushed, right? Yeah. So during campaigns, they go, "Oh yeah, these hedge funds, some bitches, and we're carried interest." Hedge funds again are not by definition bad, not remotely. But there's no reason in the world why they should pay lower taxes than everyone else. Mm -hmm. And so Trump knows that people are angry about that. Oh, I'm gonna get the hedge fund guys. And then it comes in and goes, ah, "Idiots, suckers!" Just like I suckered you at Trump University. Yeah. No, that's the one thing that we are definitely going to keep. We're just gonna take away all of your deductions. Watch the Young Turks commercial free. Download it or stream it, watch it any way you like at tytnetwork.com slash join.